the royal family, a never-ending source of intrigue, has once again bestowed upon us a fresh chapter of familial conflict. This time, the stage is set with Prince Harry's recent visit to his ailing father, King Charles III, stirring the pot of royal drama. In true Shakespearean fashion, a moment that should have been quiet and poignant was thrust into the spotlight, adorned with a cloak of melodrama and sibling rivalry. Indeed, the narrative spun by royal correspondents and self-proclaimed friends of the crown paints a tableau of angst and accusations. Harry's impromptu trip across the pond, framed as a rebellious act rather than a gesture of filial concern, has ruffled royal feathers. Adding fuel to the fire, Prince William's camp responded with a mix of incredulity and disdain. And so, what could have been a quiet moment between father and son has turned into a spectacle of royal proportions. The Duke of Sussex's trip, intended as a gesture of concern, has been painted by some as a rebellious act. Prince William's camp, a stronghold of Stoicism, seems to have responded to Harry's visit with a mix of disbelief and disdain. The Duke of Cambridge's side has suggested that Harry's actions were a dramatic overture, far removed from the typical royal decorum. This brings us back to the age-old royal philosophy of maintaining a stiff upper leap, of keeping calm and carrying on, even when personal matters tug at the heartstrings. The idea that royals should rise above personal impulses and stick to their duties is a tradition that's almost as old as the monarchy itself. Yet, here we are in the 21st century, debating the appropriateness of a son visiting his ailing father. Is it an act of rebellion or a simple human gesture of concern? The debate rages on. Was the visit an unwarranted dramatic overture or a simple act of a concerned son? The health of the king, a matter of national concern, has not escaped the drama. The brevity of Harry's visit to his ailing father has become a hot topic of discussion among the media. Some speculate that the short visit was due to familial tensions, while others attribute it to the king's post-procedure fatigue. In any case, every minute of the visit was scrutinized, analyzed, and then served to ooze the public on a silver platter of conjecture. Meanwhile, the real concern, the king's health, seemed to have been relegated to the back burner. Accusations flew thick and fast that Harry's visit had somehow eclipsed the king's brave public acknowledgement of his health struggles. The media, in its relentless pursuit of drama, appeared to have forgotten the essence of the story. Even a sensible explanation fails to quell the thirst for drama. In the midst of this royal turmoil, Buckingham Palace steps into the role of the peacemaker. The palace, it seems, is striving to calm the stormy seas of royal discontent, particularly the alleged ire of Prince William. The palace's stance on Harry's visit has been one of understanding, a recognition of the human element amidst the royal protocols. It's a game of chess, not checkers, and every move has its purpose. The palace's subtle diplomacy is evident as it navigates the choppy waters of public opinion and royal sentiment. It emphasizes the need to see Harry's visit for what it was, a gesture of goodwill from a son to his ailing father. The palace's message to the world, and perhaps more importantly, to the royal family itself, is clear. The drama surrounding a son's visit to his ill father should be put to rest. The focus should be on unity, compassion, and familial bonds, not on the fodder for tabloid headlines. As this chapter closes, we can't help but wonder, what's next for the royal family? The future is rife with possibility. Can we expect a reconciliation between the brothers? A reunion, perhaps, ushering in a new era of unity and understanding? Or will the plot thicken, the drama intensify, the familial rift deepen? It's a tantalizing prospect, one that keeps us on the edge of our seats, 
eagerly anticipating the next episode in this royal saga. But as we speculate, we must not forget that at the heart of this drama are real people, grappling with their roles, their relationships, their responsibilities. They navigate a unique path, one that is both public and deeply personal. Yet, amidst all the conjecture, one thing is certain. The show will go on. The royal family, in all its regality and complexity, will continue to evolve, adapt, and captivate, keeping us all thoroughly engrossed. In the world of royal watchers, the only certainty is that the show will go on. Let us sit back and watch with bated breath as the House of Windsor continues to captivate and confound.